Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and look at this. The price of gold is as high as it's ever been in my uh, playthrough here. It's 1220. Uh, and we have um, over a thousand ounces of gold, as you can see in the upper right hand corner. And we have one more bucket of uh, magnetite that's ready to go. I already have two full buckets sitting in the back of the pickup truck. I've just been doing lots of off camera. Uh, digging and you know I apologize that the episodes have been so few and far between but I you know the fact of the matter is I'm just at a, a place in this game where I I have nothing to do but just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and you know I can only show you guys <laughs> so much of that uh, but because the price of the of gold is is as high as it's ever been I thought this would be a good time to bring you guys back and we'll go you know uh, do a cash in and see how we're doing plus uh, like I said you know we're, we're at 96 percent on this magnetite bucket I've got a bucket of concentrate that I just dumped into the hopper from our um, miner's mosses. And so let's go ahead and run that through. And I'm expecting that to, to fill this bucket up, uh, which it definitely is going to do. Okay, so we'll shut that off. The sound is getting wonky on us again. And that's our third full bucket of magnetite, which is great. Um, that should allow us to buy uh, at least the... I don't remember where we are on the on the the charge. Uh, I think we're yeah. I think we're already at the max on the largest bar in the gold loss. So now it's the gold charge that we're going to be working on next with that. Uh, okay, so let's finish the, running this on through. And let's see. Out of this last clean out, um, we got twenty four ounces out of the two planters, and we got about nineteen ounces out of the big. Uh, sluice box up there and then I just I just uh, oh wait hold on a sec okay so turn this off I thought I had missed the the gold from this but I hadn't uh, dumped it in the, the wave table yet okay and so let's see what we get out of the wave table and you guys uh, when you guys mentioned to me in the comments you recommended that I save up my money and just straight out buy Nighthawk parcel and not even worry about tier five until we have Nighthawk parcel bot. And I think that I agree with that. And, and therefore we are going to uh, be working in that direction. Uh, so, you know, we'll have, you know, with the prices, what did we get? Okay, nice. We got 32 more ounces of gold out of that. Uh, with the prices at their all time high so far, and the fact that we have over a thousand ounces of gold, we already have a million dollars already. Um, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Like I said, I already have two full magnetite buckets in there. This, uh, here, this bucket I think is empty. If I can get to it, yeah, that bucket's empty. Here, let's put, toss that out of there, and we'll set that up up right here not that it actually matters but you know whatever you just stay there <laughs> uh, okay so we'll just put this bucket over here for now and I need to uh, we still have some more dirt to run through let's go ahead and do that first uh, so I need to switch my water back around you know the other thing too and I've seen this happen before and I don't know why it happens but we're supposed to be two days out from winter but if you look in the upper right hand corner, it says we're 10 days to summer. I don't know why it does that. Um, I have, you know, saved the game, logged out and back in a couple of times. And it still seems to think we're in spring now. So I don't know what's up with that. But, you know, we're supposed to be just about to winter time. But that's obviously not what's happening here. So just a, oh, a button got destroyed again. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little bit odd. Um, Maybe it'll go back to two days to summer the next time I log in or log out. I don't I don't know. I don't know why that happens. It, it seems to be, it's got to be a bug because, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're supposed to go through winter. And for those of you who don't know what that means, basically means during the winter we have to break all of our equipment down, pick up all of our machinery and store it. Because um, if we leave it out during the winter and pretty much all of the breakable parts on the equipment break and then we have, have to you know it can cost us you know several tens of thousands of dollars to have to replace all this stuff and of course we don't want that to happen 
Now what I want, was kind of hoping we could do is, is get Nighthawk Parcel before winter. And then when we start up in the spring, we just move everything out there. But even if we don't, I mean, you know, we don't have to do it that way necessarily. We could still, you know, finish up Old Arnold in, in the spring if we're not done with it by then. And, you know, for those of you who don't know, I am running the game on... Uh... On, on one day or, or one hour, real time is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, real time. So, you know, we still could do that. Now, let's take a look and see where we're at here um, in the, uh, the parcel itself. So we have dug way back to here, and let's toggle that square on so I can kind of get a reference. Okay, yeah. So, we've yeah, we've dug it all the way back there. I think we were probably somewhere right around in this area the last time uh, in the last video that I did for you guys. So we've dug, and most of this is pretty decent gold, you know, back in through here, too. If we, uh, well, I guess that stuff's not super good. That that one's not too bad. We've dug in through here and in through here. But we still have, you know, we still have, if you look, there's still more, more gold here. Ooh, wow, look at that one. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that was a really good one. Um, so, yeah, we still have quite a bit of gold left on this parcel. I, I think we'll have no problem whatsoever in hitting the 2.4 million that we need to buy Nighthawk. Uh, but whether or not we can also pull enough gold out of here to get the Tier 5 stuff too remains to be seen. But even if we don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, the main the most important thing right now is to get to Nighthawk Parcel. And then we can, you know, we can do the Tier 5 stuff from there when the time comes. Uh, okay, so it looks like all that dirt's moved through. We're just kind of waiting for this. When I logged in, I also got a message that one of my workers was attacked by a bear. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. I don't know what that actually means in terms of how it affects the game, and I don't remember which worker it was. But if we look at these guys, does one of them show like he's hurt or something? I don't know. Maybe it makes them more effective, or maybe it takes them off of production for a while. I'm really not sure how it works. Uh, this this is the only guy we've been able to upgrade to level two so far, and everybody else is still yeah level one. And it's it's just you know I've mentioned this a couple of times now. The reason why worker acquisition and leveling is so slow is just because I'm you I'm doing this in real time. Um, you know, but that'll, that will come eventually that will come in time. So I'm not too worried about it. So let's let the rest of this dirt finish running through and then we'll shut the plant down and go into town and, and sell this gold and also, uh, do the next upgrade too. We should, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough magnetite to do, uh, you know, that next cost upgrade. Okay. So that's it for that. Shut everything down here and shut the water off. Our water is now up to 271,000 gallons, which is cool. And uh, you are getting low on fuel. I had to refuel the dump truck. The, the front loader is very low on fuel, so I need to get that refueled too. Uh, in fact, you know what maybe we should do? Why don't we go grab that and bring it up here while I'm thinking about it? So that way... I don't have to pull the fuel trailer down to the front loader and fuel it up down here in the hole, which I could do, but... Oh, yeah, look at the... <laughs> look at this, man. If you look at the fuel gauge in the lower right-hand corner, I mean, it's running on fumes right now. I wonder if we can even get up there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get up there. <laughs> oh, no, okay, never mind. There, there's a little bit more fuel there. I forgot. It takes a little while for it to to show up when you first turn the you know the machinery on so we're good but it is very low as you can see so let's get this refueled first and then we'll run on into town okay so grab this and stick it in uh, well if I can get to it Uh, right there. Okay. And let's fill her up. Let's see. How are we doing in here? We're 65%. Yeah, we should have plenty of fuel in there to fill this up. You know, this generator, 
I mean, the fuel does go down in it, but man, oh man, I've only had to fill this up once, and I don't even think I filled it up all the way to the top. And I've been running all of this time, and I still have yet to, to refuel it, which is interesting. Uh, this guy's getting a bit, little bit low. This guy's pretty much full because I don't run that pump at this at this point. Don't really have a need to. And let's see, like I said, we refilled the dump truck. I don't know how how we're looking on the backhoe. I don't run the backhoe as much as the front loader, so it's probably in reasonably good shape. But we could go check it. So let's drive our front loader back. And um, we'll check the, the backhoe and make sure that it's, or I'm sorry, the excavator. Backhoe, excavator. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what it looks like too before we head out. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very much still uh, into this game, very much enjoying it. It's just that, like I said, there's not been a whole lot of content I can release for you guys. I should probably do some live streams of, of some of the digging because, you know, that would be better suited for that. But, you know, I'm just really busy with other things. I'm doing a lot of farming simulator 22 and just loving that game to death. Uh, too so you know there's that and we got a multiplayer server we're playing eco still got seven days to die going on i mean I, i'm just a very busy lots of irons on the fire right now which is a good thing but it just means that uh time is limited you know oh we forgot to turn the lights off okay so this is yeah that's a dump truck okay let's start up the excavator and see where its fuel level is Okay, yeah, so it's it's about 35, 40-ish percent. That's fine. I don't think I'm not gonna worry about um trying to get this refilled for now. I think we'll be okay. Alright, I think we're ready to go into town. Am I forgetting anything? We got the three buckets of magnetite in the back. And yeah, I think we're good to go. I've I've had some breakdowns, not terrible. I mean, the mechanics do help. For the, there's no doubt about it. They are, they do help, you know, in keeping things from breaking down quite as much as they do. The other thing too is that, um, you know, we just recently, fairly recently, anyways, installed the 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 full tier four plant, and so all of that stuff we bought was new. So I'm starting to see a little bit more breakdowns than. Uh, you know than at first, but that's to be expected because they you know, there's more wear and tear now on the equipment. So not a big deal so let's see what we've had a a Hydraulic hose Some conveyor buckets a the rocker D rocker jet and a piston go out on us uh, So let's go ahead and sell all of that stuff for seven hundred eighty five dollars make you holler Okay Okay, let's head on in to town. We're going to go to the blacksmith first. Uh, no, actually, we're going to go to the uh, to the factory first and drop off this magnetite. Yeah. And we'll see how much that gives us. We're currently, what do we got? Uh, we, we have almost no magnetite at the moment, but we're going to get a nice little pile of it from these three buckets here. And again, hopefully, like I said, it'll be enough for us to get the next upgrade um, for for the, for cost. Okay, so let's grab you. That'll fill this thing up to thirty percent for us. Okay, come on. Trying to get to the bucket. There we go. Get in there. Okay, 30%. And that brings us up to 13,703 ounces of magnetite. All right, let's go to the blacksmith and see what the deal is. Uh, 
Okay, here we are. Let's hop out of you and go in here. Okay, so we're going to go to upgrades. And for the second cost upgrade, we need 24 uh, 69. So, uh, let's just see before we actually do it. Let's just take a look at the difference. So right now to do a 320 ounce bar, it's going to cost us $15,000. Um, yeah, we have 93,000. I was going to say, man, do we even have enough for that? Okay. So now if we buy the next upgrade and can we buy the third upgrade? Oh, we can look at that. Nice. Okay. Let's buy the third upgrade. And now we've fully upgraded the cost, too. So now if we smelt that much. Oh, that makes a huge difference, you guys. Look at that, man. Look at that. We saved, well, we saved around $8,000 uh, from those two upgrades. Super nice. Now, here's the thing. I mean, I, I feel like I should probably buy these because what I've been doing, and I know this is a little bit of a, of a hack. <laughs> I, I've been just adjusting the time up when I do the smelting, but uh, I think I should buy that stuff, buy these just to, you know, atone for my sins, so to speak. Uh, oh, look at that. We don't quite have enough to get this last one. So what we'll do is um, we, I, I will buy this last one just so I can, you know, sleep a little bit better at night, so to speak. And then, you know, if, if we do another playthrough of this game in the future, I probably won't do that little cheat. I'll probably just do it the way that it's supposed to be done and, you know, figure out some happy medium between the time speed and, you know, and the smelting and, and not adjust it as the game goes. Just this is what we start with and that's what we deal with. So anyway, um, yeah, so we'll go with that. All right, cool. So any, you know, we just need basically... A few thousand more. Well, okay, I guess that went down further, didn't it? So we needed 6,000 and something, right? So we need around 4,000-ish more ounces of magnetite. And once we get that, we can get that last upgrade. And then all magnetite from there on out, we can just simply sell for more money, which is going to be great. Okay, cool. So um, let's go ahead and start smelting here. And, you know, we did get the second time upgrade. But I also have the time, like I said, on 12X. But let's just see how long it takes the first one. Um Without those upgrades, it took about, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe about a minute or so in, of real time for that to be ready. I don't remember, to be honest with you. I didn't never actually timed it. Uh, but let's just see how, how long it takes now. Yeah, okay, good. That was way, that was like way better. Okay, so now let's smelt the next bar. And we got this bar here, which we'll just stick in the back of the pickup. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to, I'm probably not going to hold myself to, to not, you know, cheating the time on this for the rest of this playthrough. But when we do a new playthrough, um, I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, we'll probably set the time on maybe something like, I don't know, 5X and then just, just it, we, we'd never change it. It stays on that, that time for the whole rest of the playthrough. We'll see though. No promises. We'll just see how things come together. You know, and like I've said before, there there are disadvantages to playing in real time. Uh, this would be one of them if you didn't, you know, cheat the time. But the other one, the other issue is, you know, the whole worker thing. It takes forever to get workers, and it takes forever to level the workers. So there's that, too. Okay, let's head on down to the bank sell some gold and see how much money we make we 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 should easily clear a million at least with this gold uh well actually quite a bit more than a million if it's still at 120 an ounce let's see what is it now ah it's even gone up just a tiny bit more okay cool so let's go ahead and sell All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at $1.4 million, almost $1.5 million uh, from selling that. So we are we're actually less than a million dollars away from being able to purchase Nighthawk. That's really cool. 
So the plan's going to be, you know, um, that I'm going to keep digging old Arnold until, at least and until, we get to uh, one or, or two point four million dollars, and then we're gonna purchase old uh, or we're gonna purchase Nighthawk, and then at that point, I mean, like I said, I don't know what the heck's going on with the the whole two you know two days to winter, ten days to summer business. I, I wonder if I've screwed that up by adjusting the time up and down. I'm not sure, but anyway, I you know. It is what it is. I can't really do anything about it at this point. But I'm going to keep, you know, digging on old Arnold at the very least until we have the 2.4 mil to buy Nighthawk. And then, you know, if winter has not come around by that time, you know, then we will either stay at old Arnold for a little bit longer or we'll just move our whole operation to Nighthawk. It'll we'll probably just move to Nighthawk. Because the you know the gold at Nighthawk is supposed to be so much better than old Arnold anyways. And I you know even though we could pull more gold out of old Arnold, I don't know that it, it makes sense for us to stick around there any longer once we have Nighthawk uh possession of Nighthawk. So we'll see how things go. You know, we'll just uh play it by ear I suppose but you know if the gold prices stay around 120 which they probably won't but if they did we really only need about another I don't know what 750 to 8 ounces of, or 800 ounces of gold to get that next million or so so yeah it's looking pretty good man it is looking pretty good I have several lights that are busted out but I'm, I'm not too terribly worried about that when it gets nighttime again I might replace them at that point uh, or maybe you know the mechanics will work can work on in fact I think they have worked on them a little bit it just you know gives them training so I have one mechanic working probably working on this belt here I would I would guess and yeah okay so we are at 35% uh, full what I might do is I might keep you guys with me uh, for the next clean out. Maybe show you some digging. Maybe do a little bit of time lapse with some music or something like that. And then we'll do we'll do the next clean out before I let you go at the end of this episode. So yeah, let's uh let's get moving here.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and run this next batch of dirt through. Uh, we probably won't get to uh, a clean out with this batch, but let's just see how far we get. It'll be close, but probably not quite enough. So we'll get our water turned on there and fire things up here. While we're waiting for that, let's run these this damaged stuff back to the, the place over here. I got a couple of, of bad buttons to bring back here too. So we'll probably just grab a crate to take both of those because I can't carry two little tiny buttons in my pocket in this game. <laughs> um, let's see, you got a bunch of rollers in there for the old trommel. In fact, I don't even think we need these duplex jigs or these rollers anymore. Um, so we could probably sell that, but I, eh, I'm just going to hang on to that for the moment, just in case. But I'm pretty sure the old Arnold Trommel, which is our Tier 4 Trommel, has different replacement parts. But let's, I'll hang on to that for now, just to make sure. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we're going to run that dirt through. We're going to wait for the hopper to get down to around 10%, and then we'll drop this third load in. Oh, and look at that. It says two days to winter again. I, I actually logged out of the game because, it, you know, I was getting that really bad lag bug again. And, uh, yeah, no, so now we're back to two days to winter. I, I don't know what the deal is with that, but whatever, man. Whatever. Okay, let's go get our dump truck back in position. And we'll just let the plant run for a little bit and then we'll hop back up and turn it off. I don't I don't keep it running all the time anymore because we just get too many breakdowns when we do it that way. All right, we now have a full plant here. Man, those buttons are just going bad left and right, aren't they? Only have one more left after this. So let's see, we have, uh, we have no gold at all right now. So, yeah, we'll be able to see exactly how much gold we have by the time we're done with this. Start with our upper sluice box here. So, yeah, I've usually been pulling somewhere around 20 ounces-ish out of this uh, upper box here with the good dirt that we've been doing. I think the last one was 19 ounces or so. So we'll see if we hit that this time. Um, I've been doing about 24 ounces out of the planters, the four planter bucks, uh, buckets rather, together. And then somewhere around 30-ish on the miner's mosses. Okay, so did we get all of these? Yes, we did. All right, let's grab this bucket. Up on down here. Dump this in the magnetite separator. We'll go run this back up while that's running through. So I don't forget. And we'll start grabbing the planter buckets here. Okay, so we're going to dump this in here and get that going in there. Now, let's get the wave table going for the first one. I like to do them separately. The upper sluice box, then the planters, then the miner's moss. Just that, that way I can tell how much we get 
out of each one. Okay, so let's wait that to wait for that to finish. 18 and 18.15 uh, ounces. Okay. It's a little bit lower than last time. Let's get these going. And the last planter bucket here. Okay, let's stop that and we'll start loading up the mosses. Uh, so the ones that are currently in the sluice boxes are 18% saturated, but these are all in the loops are all full. They were changed up by our worker. So we'll start loading those up. Uh, these look pretty dirty here, which is good. It means they're packed with with gold. Okay, let's run the hog pan mats. All right, we got 23.6 ounces. So yeah, I was figuring around 24 ounces from the planter. So that's that's fairly typical right there. Let's start pulling down the, the big mosses here while we're waiting for that. Okay, we got a full bucket of concentrate here from the hog, uh, or not the hog pit, well, those two, but the miner's mosses. Let's finish this out. And we'll get this started here. Okay, those are fully clean. Throw that in there. And let's see what we get. I'm expecting around 30 ounces. Twenty nine point eight. Pretty close. Pretty close. All right. So we pulled in a total of seventy one point five ounces of gold off of that clean out. Not too bad. 
Not too bad at all, actually. Not the best one we've done, but certainly not the worst one either. Let's get these grills back in place. All right, cool. Moving right along, folks. Moving right along. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm going to just keep on keeping on here. We're going to just keep on digging in, you know, uh, into the back 40 here. Uh, we'll probably go all the way back pretty much almost as far as we can go. I do need to leave a little bit of room to drive around through here. Uh, but we have some, you know, pretty good gold all the way back to there. And then, of course, you know, we still have some fairly decent gold spots back in here. Maybe not so much all the way to the border, you know, back here. But right in here, we still have some pretty hot spots, too. And hopefully, you know, by the time... In fact, I'm I'm thinking probably by the time we get back to the end of this, we'll probably have enough to get that last million that we need to buy Nighthawk. Um, I'll, I'll be surprised if we have to go into here. Now, that doesn't mean we won't. We might still do it anyways. I haven't really made that decision yet or not. Uh, but right now, you know, the goal is to, uh, is to get Nighthawk parcel purchased ideally before the winter sets in. Uh, but you know, if we don't, like I said, it's earlier, it's not absolutely critical that we get it before the winter sets in, but I think we probably will, you know, uh, keeping the time on one X and, um, So I'm not sure exactly, you know, when I'll bring you guys back, but uh, I will, uh, of course, <laughs> uh, bring you back. I'll probably, most likely, we'll wait until I get the next million, um, and I'll bring you back, you know, when we're ready to buy Nighthawk Parcel, and then we'll go from there. So um, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Ciao.